If you are a WooCommerce user, then this video is definitely for you. Having the review app on your WooCommerce website can be very helpful and it can increase the customer confidence if you use the review app in the right way. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's get started. Myself Hardy from ecomhardy.com. And if you go to WordPress admin panel and on the left hand side panel, go to plugins and click add new plugin and search for the review. Once you search, you will find the review plugin called Customer Review for WooCommerce by Cosrev. This is the one I would recommend. Simply install now and activate. Once you activate this plugin, you can access this plugin by going to Plugins and Install Plugins. And here, simply click to Settings. If you don't want to do that, you can always go to left hand side panel here. And if you scroll down, you will find the reviews where you will access all the features and options of this particular plugin. So once you found it, what you have to do is simply click to settings and here by enabling this option, it will automatically send the follow up email to the customer to submit the review, which is a great thing. And you should not miss this feature. So I would always click to activate this feature here. You can set either no verification or independently verified option. But only thing is, if you independently verify by clicking to this option, you may have to create the account. So simply click to Cosrev. It will open up the website cosrev.com slash business and you can start with free or you can get the pro option as well. If you choose to go with pro plan, it is $7.99 per month cost. In this video, we're going to stick to free plan. So let me close that or even with free one, just click to try for free and after filling out the details, you just simply open up the account. Once you open up the account, you can connect it to Cosrev account and that way you can add this independently verified symbol to your reviews. Let me just turn it off and select no verification. Sending delay. So review reminder is I always suggest to go with at least few days delay after you send the product because shipping may take some time. So I set 12 days after 12 days of shipping date it will send the email by the way you can customize this email as well and the order status completed all categories you can set particular categories as well if you want to enable for rows all rows and everything else should be okay and then same changes here review extension so visual style if you want to select the basic woocommerce style you can always go with that one but cosrev enhance user interface looks a little bit better. Quantity of review is five. You can increase the quantity if you want to on the product page. Shorting order is recent review first or if you want to set from the high rating first. You can set accordingly. Review summary bar or vote for reviews. You can set on or off if you want to. Verified honor next to the review but it doesn't look good so I would write verified purchase or just verified should be okay and customer avatar is standard and then save changes. Review forms, you can select or set the review forms as well. So on-site product review form, you can add the rating style like rating and labels. You can add the question as well if you want to. Attach images, you can enable to attach the images and videos to review. So customers can attach their photos of your product, which is the good way to enhance or boost the revenue. So I always enable this option. Quantity of media files, maximum is five, which is fair enough. Maximum file size, 25 MB, which is fair. Review permission, I would highly go with reviewers, must be registered and logged in, or reviewers must be verified owners. That way you won't get any spam reviews. Login URL, you do not have to, but you, if you want to, you can always create your own login URL or set the login URL if you already have. Recapture version two reviews, I would always suggest you to go with recapture on so that way you can avoid a lot of spammers to leave the review or at least trying to spam your content and make sure you find the side key and secret key and just add them here terms and privacy checkbox i always take it on and add the checkbox for the people to accept the terms and privacy policy and everything else looks good form colors you can always set different form colors if you want to then save changes review for discount this is the great feature to attract the repeat purchases from the customers so review for discount i would always take it enabled 
and I always go with the incentivize review badge on that will help you to mutually build the trust between customer and your business and also on the legal requirements it can be very helpful too so I would enable this feature if you want to add the BCC address you can always add that simply copy your reply to address to BCC address if you want to or you can add another BCC address and here the three tiers discounts photo and video upload if someone upload one or more photos or videos they can discount so start with tier one with no photos upload new coupon for all roles and customers here percentage discount I would give five percent discount allow free shipping yes validity is seven days which is fair enough time and minimum spend I would leave it blank so it doesn't matter what amount customer will spend he will still get five percent off and individual use only yes I don't want to select the exclusive products I just give the discount to any of the products they purchase coupon prefix k3k allow sharing no and then save changes if you want to add more tiers like tier 2 where if customer add one or more images or videos in their review then coupon type would be new coupon give usage limit which is like you can see how many times this coupon can be used before it is voided so you can set at least maybe 10 coupons each time the third tier would be like if you want to test how does it look like the template uh, you can always check the template by clicking to here and here are the review reminder template and discount template photos upload one and I want to send this one to send so the review email would look something like this one you can always add the logo as well if you want to you can change the color it would be like hi customer name thank you for reviewing your order as a token of appreciation i'm giving you five percent off this is the review code this is the discount code based wishes case okay, kitchen simple yet very effective email which is good now i go back once i'm happy with that so this one i sent for five photos or videos upload and see what we receive and when customer upload five or four videos or photos he or she will get 15 percent discount with the coupon code and best receipts that's great so review app is working now once i'm happy with that what i'll do is i go to license key here and if i have purchased the version like pro version then i can always add the license key trust badges i can add the trust badges to my website if i want to so to add the trust badges it is very simple and effective way so just imagine i want to add this trust badge i can always change the color of the trust badge by changing the color here if you want to completely modify the trust badge you can always modify accordingly for an example we are going with this one I simply copy the short code here and if I go to the front end of the website which is the home page and on the home page if I select edit with Elementor if I select to open it and underneath of the banner if I want to add the trust badge I simply click to plus sign and add the new flex box here and on the flex box I add the short code section so short code here and then paste the short code in this section so once you paste the short code there and then publish it would look something like this one so you can see underneath there is the review and if you choose the right template it will look accordingly so once you are happy simply save changes so if you want to create the review page dedicated review page on your website what you have to do is simply go to the pages add new page and here I would title it all reviews then save changes or publish and then I scroll down and search for review all reviews and then select save changes now once by doing that what I'll do is I select the short codes or cut and blog link here open it once you open that link cast rev all reviews copy the short code review short codes enable the short codes and then save changes at the bottom once you save the changes you go back to the page and i search plus sign and short code i would add the short code here paste then save changes and if i click to the page 
If you open up all reviews I received on this website, on this link, kitchen.com forward slash all reviews, and you see, or as a customer, customer can read or check all the reviews of this particular website. Now let me close it. Once this part is done, I go to referral program. If you want to enroll into the referral program, you can always click to track customer referrals, enable this option to track orders placed by customers who were referred to your store from costlink.com, which is great. I just say changes. You can also enable the Q&A option if you want to. Short codes, you can check all the short codes from this page and you can apply these short codes to your website accordingly. If I want to add the review slider to my homepage, I simply copy paste this short code and if I go to the front end, add it with Elementor homepage designing and here instead of the trust badge, I just paste the review slider and if I go to the front end of the website or homepage of this website, let me open it. It will look something like this one where customer can see the recent reviews and customer can slide to check more reviews. Amazing feature and I would highly recommend you to add this feature to your homepage to enhance the trust and gain more sales and revenue of your e-commerce website. Now, once you're happy with that, I go back. Emails, you can modify. As I said before, you can always modify the email body. How does it look like? You can add the media and you can add or upload the images if you want to. So maybe I add this logo, simply insert and it will be inserted here. You can change the position. You can put it in center if you want to. You can resize the logo. That may look good. Give some space or maybe this one is okay. You can send it to your email to check how does it look like and say change this. You can also change the email color if you want to. And that's how you can modify the settings. We go to reviews. So now these are the reviews which are pending approval. And I can personally check all the pending reviews from here. Go to under the review, go to reviews. And one by one, I can check whether the review is good or bad. If it's spam, I can always click to spam. So I just, uh, this one is approved. This one looks like spam, so I can click to spam. Everything as it should be, approved, fast delivery, approved. If you want to modify the given review, you can click to edit here. Okay, I want to delete the rest of the part and then update. Once I update, I can always approve it. Spam or even trust, and that's it. That's how I approved and rejected the review and reviews. Now, if I want to check the review, I can always click to the product. Or if you want to directly open the front end of the product, you can always click to view product here. And you can view the product at front end. You can click to reviews if you want to. And underneath here, you can check all the reviews. You can see the star rating provided, which is directly from this cost review app, which is good and it says reviewer, this is the review. Another cool feature I would like to go with is Google. So you can go to Google option and you can generate the XML product feed directly from here. So you do not need the separate plugin for that. That way you save plugins, of course. And when it's active, XML file with the products for Google Shopping will be created immediately after saving settings and then updated according to the refresh frequency settings. Product variations, I would like to include the product variations as well. And this is the product feed URL. You just copy paste this URL to your Google Merchant Center and enable the feed. You can also generate the XML product feed of the review into Google Shopping. This is a great feature. So I would always highly recommend to activate that. So for the free of cost, you can show the product reviews to the Google Shopping. Mind blowing feature, which provides free of cost. Refresh frequency is in days. So if you put one, that means one day every 24 hours. If you put two every 48 hours, it will refresh the frequency. And at last, you can also go to diagnostics and check it out, other settings and go to import exports where you can export your settings if you want to or download the template directly from here. And that's done. Hope this video will benefit your WooCommerce store and increase the revenue of your WooCommerce website. Hope you learned something new today. And if you like to appreciate it, thumbs up to this video and subscribe to this channel 
if you are here for the first time and hit the bell icon so you will get notified as soon as I upload the new video on this channel. Also comment me in comment box below if you have any questions or suggestions and I would love to answer your questions as soon as possible. Thank you very much for stopping by and watching this video this far. Stay safe. Hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.